What up, Decker? <laughs> what up, Carl Four? What's up, Kingslayer? Jam I'm actually kind of sound good. Stop telling me, King Slayer. Stop telling me. I'm trying to really figure out if Tolos won that world championship and that match I just simulated. Yeah, some of this shit is uh, fucked up because some people had to get deleted. Since we last left this town, as this is a different town. And it's reality, there is no 24 7 championship. <laughs> no, apparently. Apparently there's no women's tag team champion neither. There's something fishy about that though. I got a feeling that somebody like doesn't believe that. And yeah, we might go fuck around five more years in the future on this shit. So this is why Buck wants to bring the AEW championship and fight me for that title or some shit like that. This is where it started. This championship. Women's sub tag team champions. champions. Alright, so hold on, hold on, hold on. I still know Tolos won that champion that match though. That was a ring on the show. No, I'm close to the champ. The thing I don't get about this shit is that if you look at that card they just had, it's like half of these champions is on that card, but they're not defending their title. And they in the match, the same match they fought at Wrestle Kingdom. But the title's on the line then and it's not on the line now. That's a perfect example. They fought the last joint. This is a new match. All these happens. That's exactly why we in it. saying that because your guy's not in it. Let's see if your guy is actually in it. I don't think your guy was taken out when it happened. Uh, I think he just fell off. I tried to kill off King Slayer in this universe. Nah, he jumped into a wormhole and jumped five years into the future. That's why he didn't compete in all the other matches after that loss. King said, you don't understand the way time works. God. 
Did any of you ever watch Doctor Who? Doctor Quinn, Medicine Woman, you'd figure this shit out. Sliders, nothing. Gosh, I mean, you watch The Flash every week, but you just don't seem to get it. You weren't in the future the whole time, and you didn't age a bit. Why do you think that is, Kingslayer? Duh. <laughs> no, exactly out time. No, not Scottish time, Kingslayer, and not Chinese time. All right. What up, CJ? So Durbin's not in the future. He didn't survive. Something happens in the next five years that Durbin dies. Because he didn't get into the future. Could you don't. You froze King Sir so he doesn't get a match in this universe. Nah, that motherfucker jumped through a goddamn time portal and jumped five years to the future. So he missed the whole five years after he fought Eric Draven. Or Ryan Rex or whoever one of them motherfuckers it was. Donald Trump didn't make it in his future neither. Let me see something, man. Yeah. Alright, so whoever in the building about to get booked on this next card. Y'all ain't gonna get booked in a goddamn affiliation of Paris 2019. Y'all is gonna get booked in affiliation of Paris 2K25. As we proceed, or 2K26? No, it's five years in the future, so it's 2K24. Where did we figure this out? Didn't we figure this out? And this is six years in the future. I think we went further than the last time y'all remember. Y'all don't remember all that. Highly doubt everyone will get booked. Every everyone ain't even gonna stick around to get booked. Irish Patriot? That's not the kind of Patriot we're looking for. Like, all these other kind of Patriots. Everybody knows a true Patriot's the American Patriot. See, in previous games, you could select the Money in the Bank theme song, aka Trump's interest music. And hey, that'd be dope. You can't select it now? That's because the game's trash. Eight twenty-seven. That's the day the album's supposed to drop. And that's what I've been working on for the past two, three hours. Well, that's sad. I ain't got my sub anymore. Well, subs is half off now. Subs is half off now. Oh, you mean because Durbin ain't in the universe? Oh, I don't mean you ain't about to get no match, bro. I just mean that's all you is about to get is a match as we proceed. You don't get no lighter. You don't get no smoke. None of that. Why, that was a month ago already? Yeah, I know, right? They got like one title on the line at this pay-per-view. But I guess that fall in line with the No Chance of France thing. I 
fuck with this NWO Nitro in the future though, y'all. I ain't gonna stop. Shit fire. The whole show fire. I been had my eye on it. She created the the Dom a month ago. The fuck is the Dom? Oh the the Kingdom? No, nah, don't ever don't ever slang terminology. The last kingdom of Scotland. Then didn't they have the same match? But I was on the Rock, I mean Triple H's team, and Casey was on the same team. The fuck is happening on this show? Are the Pretty Boys Sensations finally breaking up? Deck, I think you on House of Hardcore. We go watch House of Hardcore in a second. This is over on this show. These are champions. Um, over Batman. Made it into the future. Yeah, he's the Batman we deserve. King Sayer was left out. I just told you what happened with King Sayer. He jumped through a time thing. Alright. And he emerged in the future. The fuck? It didn't even exist. How did he get in the future? Um, I don't know. Same way these factions ain't together, but everybody seem to be managing each other still. This future house are hardcore to shit too, though. Look at the women's division. Wait, what the fuck? Show only got three matches? The fuck? The fuck? Damn, <laughs> job Bishop too expensive. Team against Gallows and Rowan. What the fuck? I don't even know if I want to know. Yeah, you see, motherfuckers is still fucking with each other, but they not no faction. That's why we need GMO back. I agree. Let's see what the King Slayer is looking like. You get to see how expensive people are. So yeah, you in the main event. Look at this shit. You over here starting, man. Hating on the on the on the on the booking. Got trust in the future. Sasha Banks, top girl. Damn. Uh, WWE made sure to get their guys over on the call show. I'm about to cut all these people from the call show. I'm supposed to be putting the calls over. What the fuck type of shit is that? Look at that shit though. In the top ten, there's Kingslayer Jr. WWE guy. Grim Reaper, WWE God, WWE God, WWE God, WWE God. And number 10 is the man time. Number 11 is Mike Canella. Cash Chain Desperado rounded out. That's pretty cool though, I ain't gonna stop. I wonder how many women is on it, I mean, how many people are on these shows. Damn, this shit only got 30 people. I think this is legit the women's show. So, who we need to put into the future? That's what we trying to see. I'm like, um, off top, I know Kingslayer and Decker have been in the building. I know uh, Jeff Setter and CJ in the building. They said we got eight real ones in the building, though. So, who the other four? We figure out who the other four is. We'll get these matches kicked off. So you see they're going around Twitch saying shenanigans. Yeah, he also going around Twitch doing his best ABC impersonation. But I ain't mad at him. Everybody's got to get over it. I kind of like this car. Just said it in APC stream. He's an impressionable youth. Bree was right. He's an impressionable youth. CJ, you're an impressionable youth. 
It's all good though, CJ. We're poisoning the minds of the youth. Yep, and by we, I mean Kingslayer. And no one else! And no one else. Yep, got a problem? Blame Kingslayer. There's not getting changed back. I take it. No. I thought it was supposed to say Bullet Club is nice. Kingslayer is a dick. What up, Wesley Wolf? Wesley Wolf, I'm, I'm afraid you're no longer. You're, you're not in the future. You're not in the future of the Fight Club. Literally. <laughs> I don't, I'm not seeing you in the future of the Fight Club. <laughs> so far, I haven't. Why does it have to say King Sarah is anything? <laughs> Cause you're a dick. <laughs> ah. Hey, you wanted to get over. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the cool kids table. <laughs> this is fame, bruh. <laughs> oh man. Alright, hold on. Let's go to the, the lower rumble. We may have some surprises. Wesley Wolf may make an appearance at the lower rumble. Let's see what they got. They got the rumble match. No title. Another rumble match. Damn, they going all out with these rumble matches. Alright. Alright. They go Wesley Wolf in the background. Okay, okay. Wesley Wolf. Hold, hold on. Maybe the Wolves of Valhalla did make it to the future. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ryan Rex is finally getting our revenge. Alright. Oh, shit. I'm gonna bet Kingslayer want to see this. Hey, we about to set our shit up on this card, yo. Kingslayer about to get his rocks off on that shit. Let me see what happens. We got Super Slam up here. Elimination Chamber. I don't want to see all of these shits. A Hostile Takeover. Fight Club Mania. Maybe. Hey, Murky Dungeon, maybe. Anything else? I want to see what matches they set up for the Elimination Chamber. What matches they set up for this wild show. But that's where I'm probably going. Gonna make my stop sad. Alright, so who we got in the building, y'all? First, let me see something. So this got a lot of y'all in it. Project Valkyrie doing double duty tonight from the looks of things. I can clearly see that. John Bishop's up in here in this match. He probably gonna fuck around for double duty too. Shit, sure, it's only 80 y'all in the building. We have to lower one, but why not? Um, if y'all got more than one superstar, more than one of them gonna get booked. I'm gonna put the future lower rumble championship on the line for both of these matches, obviously. So let me get, figure out who the champions is. If they ain't got one out here in this future, we'll get the ones from the present day. Outside of that, we got one, two, three, three matches. If there's ten of y'all in here, then we're going to take those three match slots with y'all's match. I'm going to let these rumbles rock, though. We're going to put two titles on the line for two of them rumbles. We're going to watch this match right here with Cole Quinn and Saint. Shout out to Saint, shout out to Cole Quinn. Or Kingster with Cole Quinn. Um, what am I looking for, y'all? WWE Champion? But I don't think the WWE Championship is even on the show. What show is the WWE Championship on? This podcast is about to be on this show. On NWO Nitro. 
that. Hold up, man. That's a lot of WWE championships floating around this motherfucker. That shit would be uh, Saint and um, Naomi. I think we still need a, uh, what is it, Rusty Wolf and King Sir, the next two people that uh, came in the room, said something. Like what? Sounds like a plan. Shit, I ain't gonna stop, man. That's just that King Sage Jr. got all the clout. John Bishop got a title. John Bishop, you got to defend the best in the world. Like what Matthew, the Bullet Club champion. <laughs> Popular, so he wants him to get beat to low, lower end. No, that's what you got from that. Conspiracy. Now the only conspiracy here is that John Bishop wants to defend his championship.
win all these matches on fast, bro. I'm about to watch a whole row on books. I ain't even about to check on these rumbles. Probably the reason all these dudes was in this match. All that being said, all you dudes. Is Yeah, I know, right? He ain't been here forever. He ain't been here forever. I'm gonna put John Bishop in here and uh, put the championship on the line. Ain't gonna be complicated. Defend it, fuck it. Fuck it, defend that shit then. God damn it. So I'm talking about Leo Rush, way to step up. Decker, you can learn from Leo Rush. He's got bars and he's got balls. Damn, they made two men's matches? What the fuck? Nah, yo, they bugged out for that. They bugged out for that. My bar is better. Not according to your fans or your haters. 
Then again, your haters probably think 6 ix 9 is still hot. Fuck them. Yeah, that's what I, I try my best to do. Or try my best not to do. Depending on the situation. God damn it. this hateful ass hour right now 36 minutes into the stream 3-6 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. same number of the indies mm -hmm. shit start fucking up right shenanigans the conspiracy runs deeper Kingslayer math. It's like Steiner math, but not nearly as entertaining. But set with an accent. 6-9. I trust 6-9. Mind blown. I wish I was getting my mind blown right now as we proceed. Luke Giles looks like he hasn't eaten in weeks. Getting ready for this show. Why wouldn't he? Just 
Stern ain't the only one that can do math. Sixty nine, but do me fine. You know what I'm talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. What up, Gothic? Gothic, are you done streaming yet? Or are you still going? Because you got to go ahead and get it. Yeah, you love that shit, didn't you? I did too. Wait, you talking about Becky and Sasha, right? And Bailey and Charlotte and all that shit. Four horsewomen tag team match. I need a break. That won't epic. <laughs> But hopefully that means that the two women I want to win is going to want to win it on Sunday. I'm forced to tag. They weren't forced. They were getting along famously. It's like she never beat her with a chair. I mean, they friends in real life. Yeah, I know. All four of them are. Charlotte and Becky are. All four of them are. <laughs> They're all friends in real life. So they have no issues working together in the ring. Nah, they had an issue. Charlotte was over there jumping all the spots. She's early on everything, goddammit. She do that to goddamn Bailey at the pay-per-view. We don't have a problem. Yep, Charlotte. I said it. I'm talking to you too, Andrade. You know it's make-believe, right? So they have no working together in the butt. You hope Charlotte wins. Get out, Godly Princess. Get out! Get out of my house saying that shit. Brock, big Brock Lesnar saying he's not in the main event. He gonna go stick around long enough to see. Yep. Jim Omega could do better matches. Damn, Brock Lesnar got eliminated. She won on Raw. Barely hurt the man. Oh, she need to. And I ain't even worried about Becky Lynch. Got the princess. I'm gonna be honest with you. She good. I need my girl Sasha and Bailey to get get that same rub, bro. It's like they don't know how to use Bailey. I don't get that. This is like the coolest thing she's done since she's been on the main roster. Teaming with Sasha is what I mean. But if her teaming with Sasha is the coolest thing that she's done since she's teamed with Sasha. So. But for me, Becky Lynch was in Sports Center commercial. Yeah, so she's straight. Yeah, I saw that Stone Cold Stun AJ. You know AJ loved that shit.
Where was Luke and Carl when AJ was in Impact? Some of that time Luke was in the WWE. Some of it he was in the Aces and H. Because this team has been on for 40 years, they went back to their old commercial and did reboots of them. And Luke was in WWE when Impact in New Japan. God, think you remember what Luke Gallo's old character was? <laughs> it was terrible. It was cool. it was funny though. But that was a time period when when, we, when I make fun of the WWE, I'm making fun of them for that time period. Where they was just doing any fucking thing. They weren't even trying. And Triple H just secured this match. I think you may be right. That's the era that Randy Orton and John Cena thrived in. And it's like, yeah, yeah, you can only fight the guys in dirt that's out during your era. But if everybody else in your era is like being told to do something silly as fuck, then what the fuck? Like, you the only one who gets allowed to do some cool shit. It was fake king. Yeah, but how long did Fake Kane last? Man, I hope Kofi beat or any or any. Guys, we, 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 we disagree on all these matches. <laughs> disagree on all these matches. I'm trying to figure this out, though. I'm trying to figure this out. Because... You basically want want me to hate the WWE. You want to get Randy Orton. See, I'm I'm not opposed to giving these people the championship. My thing, though, know, is that if once you get these people the championship, stop lying and acting like you know that ain't what you wanted to do this whole time. Put it put it put it all in our face. You know. You know. If if we talking about what the company wants. You know the company wants Charlotte and Randy Orton. But for me, when you tell me that the company wants something, it sounds not like the authority. It sounds like a corporate champion. And those are the two people I think should be the corporate champions. So maybe I could get with this. But my whole problem, no good with this gothic, is that if those two superstars win those championships, they're not going to do none of that shit. It's just gonna be the same old shit. Cause those two have always get the fucking belts. And I'm like sick of that shit. <laughs> so I'm with almost anybody getting a championship besides the two. Real talk. They basically serve the same exact function in the men and women's division. They are literally the same thing. And and that's not that's not even a knock on them. That's 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 like a very that's a great accomplishment, man. They have both second generation, multi time champions, you know, record record setting damn near champions in their division. They're both physical specimens. They should be whatever the corporate evolution is supposed to be at this point. That's exactly what they fucking should be. Scum Dog Slater just went coast to coast on Triple H. He hasn't been Universal Champion. Yeah, he also hasn't been on Raw in like three years. This was in 2013, therefore he hasn't won all the world titles they have. The world title, I mean, that's not a world title, King Slayer. It's a universal championship. It's way bigger than the world, all right? But it means so much less in the WWE. Well, not if you ask that. They think whatever title's on Raw is the title. Like, like how are you gonna going to build up the championship for 30 years and then tell me that whatever's on Raw is the title. Like, what the fuck? When the fuck did that happen? There was pay-per-views before there was Raw. This championship existed before there was Raw. What the fuck? 
truth is the 15. And the worst part is the 24 7 championship is the most relevant title on Raw. John Cena battles Randy Orton Champion Champion Unification match. Yeah. Or on both. Yeah, but that's still not the Universal Championship. That's the WWE and the World Heavyweight. We were just talking about that the other day. And I'm glad we're bringing this back up because this is affiliation to Parrish. Coming up. The whole point of the pay per view is to, to unify championships. Um, it's a pretty common thing in the fight club. Yeah, I know he wins all the belts, though. He wins all the belts. And that's, that's okay, you know? That's like his gimmick. It's Charlotte's gimmick, too. I get that. The question is, who are they when they don't got the championship? Randy Orton makes a great heel. Charlotte makes a great heel. Ain't neither one of them a really good face, though. Where's my girl Sasha and Billy? To play both sides of the field. Y'all seen their outfits? Dale Lee 21, thanks for the follow and welcome to the fight. King Star, uh, uh, why are you all of a sudden a Randy Orton apologist out of nowhere? You're the RKA. me listen I don't think Orton's scared of me but I hope y'all know I ain't scared of Randy Orton are you talking about what Kingslayer saying oh and I'm saying he won all the belts man that's clear uh, who are you telling me I haven't won every set of he has won everything, man. King Slayer championships that just pop up out of nowhere and shit because you want to just fuck around and give Brock a belt. Don't matter. You think the Universal Championship matters to Randy Orton? Seriously, King Slayer. Did, 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 did Bob Orton want to get the Universal title back in, a, in, in, in his heyday? No. So why would Randy Orton care about getting the Universal Championship? Now, Randy Orton needs to stay on the smack. Fuck yeah. That hasn't been available to him. The championship has not been available to him. He is a Grand Slam champ. You bugged out. Can you say all you need is the world titles to qualify? Uh, it don't matter which world title it is. Nah, he done too much. This is what I'm saying. He said, technically, the Universal Championship ain't never been available to Randy Orton. He ain't never been on the same show as the Championship. That's facts. And when he fought Brock, the Championship was not on mine. If he could, his class is Grand Slam because he has had IC title, European Championship. WWE champion or heavyweight champion. That's not true. Shawn Michaels' grand slam before half of them championships became canon in the WWE. 
That's facts. I remember they said he was the first Grand Slam champion. That was like in 94. That <laughs> shit was like in 96. There was no World Heavyweight Championship. I already know where he's a Grand Slam daily. I think everybody who was in the shield wound up getting the Grand Slam too. I think it was the last three that went in. Or, or the last time they mentioned the last three that went in. I think at this point, hold up, at this point, um, wait, it ain't even at this point. Steph already been, oh yeah, we just said the shield. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else who's won since the shield. King said, you on drugs. You act like it, you, it takes specific titles to win a Grand Slam. You could win a, any one of them levels of championship. Any one of those levels. You make it seem like Shawn Michaels got the Cruiserweight Championship or the Light Heavyweight Championship at some point. Nah, they wouldn't have did that. That would have just made too much sense. Nah, Shinsuke never had the world title. That's a guy who should have had the Universal Championship. Shelton Benjamin never had the world title. He not neither. So it's like, they're saying Bailey is not a Grand Slam, but she is. Yeah, Bailey is a Grand Slam. I just had an argument with somebody on Twitter about that a few weeks ago. Bailey was the first Grand Slam, though. It's, it's the thing in the debate was that people were saying Alexa Bliss is the first, but it was Bailey who was the first. Alexa Bliss is also though. I think the two of them were the only two though, right? But they're the only two. How is it Sasha and Charlotte? What up, Valkyrie? Wait, so then what's that make uh, Alexa Bliss the Triple Crown? In? How is it only Bailey though? Because she won an NXT title too? Oh, and Sasha never won the, the SmackDown. Charlotte has to win tag titles to be Grand Slam. So does Becky. Oh, so is Alexa Bliss didn't win the what's the name? The NXT? Shadow will put a Divas title on her Grand Slam list. All the lists are different. Yeah, they are. Fucking with it though, man. I'm just glad that we could have this discussion about women in 2019. That's facts. The women deserve this for quite some time. King, one more titles than HBK. HBK was Grand Slam in like 96, King Sir. What are you talking about? What's this guy talking about? Is King Sir drunk? He wanted to go to AEW. He could be the character that he wanted to be. Chevron Omega facts putting down King Sir today. <laughs> I don't know if that's really happening, but I'm gonna roll with it. 
And when he beat Triple H for the World Heavyweight Championship, they said no, he's now a Grand Slam champion. Oh, well, you just don't, don't get worked. He was already a Grand Slam champion. King said, I keep trying to tell you that belt that Triple H had, that World Heavyweight Championship, is not a real belt. Stop thinking that it is. That's why they unified it to the WWE Championship again. Because it wasn't real. The, ha the belt, listen, King said. All right. When The Rock had the belt, Jericho won. When Jericho had the belts, he had both of the belts. Right? He unified them into one belt. He never took the belt out of the belt. That belt that you saw on Raw with Bischoff was just a made up title. They just, you just, it's like the Universal Championship. Do you understand? Do you understand? It wasn't the WCW title. It was meant to, to look like the WCW title to evoke WCW, but it was not the WCW title. Yeah, I know, I know. Wait, no, 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 you're not listening. Okay, let's go back, let's go back. Okay. Jericho beat The Rock and Stone Cold and won a WCW World Heavyweight Championship. And he carried that for a while. And at some point, they made it one belt. And then that belt got put taken to SmackDown. So Bischoff, being this crafty swindler that he is, okay? The same way Vince is a crafty swindler. And he figured if he got this big red band-aid for Brock Lesnar, Brock would stick around long. Because he was going to let Brock wear the band-aid around his waist for three, four years and collect 12 million in appearance. All right? Now, 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 now. The same thing happened with this alleged World Heavyweight Championship that you're talking about. Now, now, now you notice it's very, it's very, very rare do they ever refer to it as the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. They don't, uh, they don't put a company next to it because it would have confused everybody. The WWE Championship that had already had the WCW World Heavyweight Championship in it is on one show. And that guy's not going to come on the other show. And he said, hell with you all. I got the belt. You can't just make a belt up. All right? All right, King Slayer? Now, if anybody can say, I thought you would know this, okay? Because like you said, the NWO was the, uh, NWA was the, uh, the, the origin for almost every major championship in pro wrestling, right? Well, that championship that you're talking about, all right, was a 24-7 title. All right. They just let our truth in the main event. Okay, I'm done with you trolling me just to get the rest of these marks and to jump on your bandwagon. Fuck WWE. King say I'm not trolling though. I'm serious. Look, look, look. Look. I know what you're saying. That it's the World Heavyweight Championship. It wasn't the WCW title. All right. But King say what you're not saying is they didn't make it clear that this wasn't the WCW title. They got like the former head of WCW to introduce a championship that looked exactly like the WWE champ, WCW championship to give it to Triple H so he could roll it around with the biggest draw on, 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 and perhaps in WCW history, Ric Flair and Evolution and bury a bunch of WCW guys like Goldberg and Scott Steiner and Booker T. All right, and then eventually the championship winds up being on SmackDown, and it's the only time that they give JBL a push, they give him that belt. Only time they give King Booker a push, they give him that belt. So, so I mean, I mean, uh, all I'm saying is that for me that belt don't really count. 
And I know that because at the time when that belt was on SmackDown, okay, because I believe it was on SmackDown much longer than it was on Raw. But when it was on SmackDown, the WWE treated that belt like it didn't matter. All right? That's all I'm saying. So it don't matter. And I'm telling you why it don't matter. Because they just pulled that belt out of their ass with Eric Bischoff one day on Monday Night Raw. I do know everything, Kingslayer. All right? And you know it, too. I know the deets. <laughs> Lies. King said, you leave Gothic Princess alone. <laughs> Who created the horseman? God? <laughs> the fuck? What's <laughs> my name then, club? Project Valkyrie. Pro Project Valkyrie, Valkyrie. Project Valkyrie. Pro Project Valkyrie, Cree, Cree. All right, God damn it. Where X Dog at? God damn it. Or X Dog didn't ask me that question. X Dog, it dog. Alright, alright, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I gotta get him up to X Talk, the independent wrestling god! I mean, real name. Wait, what the fuck? You trying to. I never said I was motherfucking Houdini and shit. Roger Barker, you, you watching the wrong show. I know everything about everything. Cool. Your government name ain't cool? Come on now. Don't be mad, Chairman Omega knows facts. God damn, R. Anderson created the horseman? No, God created the horseman. So it's clear you don't know that? Oh my God. So you trying to tell me, King Slayer, that Arn Anderson didn't get the four horsemen from the Bible? Fuck out of here, King Slayer. You lying. This is the shit I'm talking about, y'all. King Slayer got you guys hoodwinked, bamboozled, trying to get you fooled. And in the future, it looks like it's Casey taking on Tom. God is for marks. <laughs> there is no God. It gives people something to hope for. Oh, so you're saying the X Dog don't exist now? He's independent wrestling don't exist now? The fuck? Oh, so he's just an independent wrestler. All right. All right. Mm hmm. You know what, Kingslayer? Fuck off. <laughs> you know what, Kingslayer? Get out of here. <laughs> we don't want your car to <laughs> We don't want your cunt around here, Kings there. You you and the Chinamen from the core four. <laughs> no, 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 no. Next thing you know, you're gonna be talk preaching all this Buddhist shit up in here with your Chinese ass King Slayer. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of your shit. China man. <laughs> It looks good against the spinning. <laughs> Y'all do. How we gonna burn to hell? You just said ain't no God. <laughs> Can't let me get your fucking mind. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, Slayer, you might be right, but we have a good ass time going down. Have a good ass time. Hey, listen, listen, listen. 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 I told y'all we in tune with this shit. You know what I'm talking about? Who just won the match? Uh-oh. Damn, Spotify must have knew that motherfucker was going to win that shit. That's crazy. You kill a club, KS. <laughs> what are we thinking about? Hey, what up, Buck? 
<laughs> the darkness is abound, godly princess. Darkness is named the Kingslayer, but he doesn't exist in this timeline. All right, so they have nothing to worry about, godly princess. He does not. Don't get me wrong, Spawn don't exist in this timeline either. But goddamn it, uh, think Becky Lynch might. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't gonna lie to you. He knows them all. Yeah, I try my best to know know as much as I can. <laughs> hey, Buck, would you believe King Slayer in here lying to everybody? Telling everybody that, uh, that Arn Anderson invented God? The fuck? He said that shit, Buck. He said it. He said Arn Anderson invented God. And I don't know nothing. Because I don't know that. Come on now. He drunk as hell, Buck. I don't know what the hell kind of shit they put in. <laughs> Bubble burps. Yeah, he said Arn Anderson invented God. And now that's why people are in religion. <laughs> oh man, sounds like. His intel is tainted. <laughs> he should know. He should know making those all this shit. Dang. I'm about to join that party. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no party. There's no party. Tell the fucking truth. <laughs> 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 all right, Dr. Amalu. Ah, uh, hell no. I'm going to be like the NFL and the WWE, all right? God damn it. Those guys are rambunctious. They should have stayed off of that stuff. We ain't got nothing to do with that. That was a personal issue. That was between a man, a man and his wife. <laughs> oh, my God. So Kingslayer, you totally called it. It's it's Cancer Month in the WWE, and Roman Reigns led the charge. Roman led the charge. I'm always siding with Jeremy because he knows his shit more than Kingslayer does in every way. Fuck Roman and more lies. Yep. Yep. Plus, I look better doing my push-ups than Kingslayer do. Fiend's Road leads to the Undertaker. I hope, it I hope he gets to go through Sting to get there. I was surprised he ain't taxed on Cole. But then he You know what I'm saying? That's when I said Bray the best out there. You can outdo him in that. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna stop. I look better doing push-ups than every everybody in here. I am not about to say everybody on all of Twitch. But, shit. You know what I'm saying? Until they goddamn do some push-ups on stream. They, they. I'm gonna say I do push-ups. I look better doing push-ups than everyone on all of Twitch. Yep. Hold on, hold on. Who's done push-ups on Twitch? King Mike, man. Heartbreak case. And myself. All right. All right. And I'm gonna be honest. I look better than both of them doing it. Tonight. 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 Clock change signifies Mark Calloway's debut on Superstars. 11 1990. Mm. You know, it's all the answers. I do have all the answers. Yes. Yes, I do. Mostly because I get them from Kingston. But. Who's counting? All right, King, say don't let the truth get in the way of the good story, all right? God damn it, all right? I'm the number one authority on everything cool, all right? And a couple of other things, too. You know what I'm talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. Gotta watch you some cool shit. Then you gotta start doing some cool shit. Then you gotta start 
saying some cool shit. As we proceed to give you what you Hey Danville, you know Big Lots is all about big deals, but we've recently made some big changes too. We're talking remodel, people. We've redone your Big Lots, located at 142 Executive Drive, and the grand opening celebration continues. So it's a great time to get in on all the Big Lots fall savings. And the new store design makes it super easy to find the deals you love. So Danville, come see the big changes and big deals in store for you. Live big, save lots, Big Lots. What does building a better bank look like? It starts with building Capital One cafes, warm, inviting places that feel nothing like a typical bank, where you can open an account with no fees or minimums in five minutes, and you'll always it's find people ready to help Challenger. you, not sell you. Orleans, Welcome to Banking Reimagined. What's in your wallet? For consumers only, pounds. offered by Capital One and a member of TIC. Copies available in select locations. Copyright 2018 Capital One. Nobody can pull the 
They're trying to get involved. You got the nerves to say somebody else is engaged in some shenanigans. Baby hit my phone up. Coming home late. Does he want to put it on a plate?
Hey Danville, you know Big Lots is all about big deals, but we've recently made some big changes too. We're talking remodel, people. We've redone your Big Lots, located at 142 Executive Drive, and the grand opening celebration continues. So it's a great time to get in on all the Big Lots fall savings. And the new store design makes it super easy to find the deals you love. So, Danville, come see the big changes and big deals in store for you. Live big, save lots, big lots. Loving Spotify? Try listening on Sonos, the ultimate wireless sound system that works with both Spotify and Spotify Premium. Discover brilliant sounding speakers and sound bars that are simple to set up and control. So you can listen to your favorite music, podcasts, TV shows, and much more. Plus, you can even use your voice with the Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. What are you waiting for? Head to Sonos.com and start listening your way. Only with Sonos.
simple to set up and control so you can listen to your favorite music podcasts tv shows and much more plus you can even use your voice with the google assistant and amazon alexa what are you waiting for head to sonos.com and start listening your way only with sonos it shouldn't be a pain to clock in at work but it is i feel like i need a vacation just to you know calm down but that would require requesting time off which is a whole other system and another password i forgot it makes me want to bang my head up against the wall oh i probably shouldn't do that because selecting health benefits was so confusing i'm not 100 percent sure that's covered it's it's frustrating. Frustrating. what's not frustrating paycom with paycom your employees can rock all their hr tasks in one simple app so let's get rolling visit paycom at rockyourhr.com Spill your juice? Bounty picks up spills quicker and is two times more absorbent than the leading ordinary brand. Bounce the quicker pick up. Just get money. 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 Just get money.
that are simple to set up and control. So you can listen to your favorite music, podcasts, TV shows, and much more. Plus, you can even use your voice with the Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. What are you waiting for? Head to Sonos.com and start listening your way. Only with Sonos. Should it be a pain to clock in at work? But it is. I feel like I need a vacation just to, you know, 
calm down, but... That would require requesting time off. Which is a whole other system. And another password I forgot. It makes me want to bang my head up against the wall. Oh, I probably shouldn't do that, because selecting health benefits was so confusing. I'm not 100% sure that's covered. It's, it's frustrating. frustrating. What's not frustrating? Paycom. With Paycom, your employees can rock all their HR tasks in one simple app. So let's get rolling. Visit Paycom at rockyourhr.com. Hey, Spotifyers. Click or tap the banner to listen to Wake Up Happy. Set the mood of your day with these awesome happy songs. Brought to you by our friends at Mick Cafe. Good is brewing. Yeah. All my enemies, I'm with your freaking energy. With that, all my energy, then I'll pull up and I'll pull up. Crossing lines, all I see is dollar signs. I want all of mine. I call this all the time, man. Don't fuck with me, fucking with a couple C, couple B, see a double D, bitch, I'm talking to you, uh. Fuck my mind, lock that shit a couple times. We're just doing time, can they come with the fucking time, uh? So low when I been down for a minute I've been trying to find a way out Just a young nigga trying to get it This lip, I don't say a word I don't know a motherfucking get it If you know about two fucking years Like damn, can a nigga visit Phone calls every now and then Just checking up to sit wicked Pray to God the bro head is us When the sky ain't the fucking limit And I'm a pressure without been affiliated A little bit, I'm with it The last thing I want to fucking see Is my close ones up in prison So I get the cash and I'm fucking gone Get the back and I'll pack it home Fuck the weed, fuck the styrofoam Fuck the lean, know what I've been on Try to wave niggas hopping on, we just call my phone, ain't no one at home And fuck the hoes, nigga, out of yo, to the left, bitch, I'm all hot and stone Girls are hard in my body, strong whoop, break your ass, even broke your bone Ever lived in a broken home, and your mama working, and your daddy on the other side of town Going back and forth, arguments, nigga, back and forth I tell her, understand the damn divorce, what the hell, I'm on the track of course Highway to heaven, I'ma praise the Lord till a nigga die I'm in the air, I ain't scared to fly, I don't understand why I'm going down But if I crash the land, that's the reason why, uh, yeah, that's the reason why But fuck you, nigga they say the sky's the limit, but I test you, nigga. Yeah. All my enemies, fuck with you, pretend to be. With that, all my energy, then I'm full of penalty. Uh, crossing lines, all I see is dollar signs. Nigga, I want all of mine. I swear this up the time, man. Don't fuck with me, fucking with a couple of D's. Couple of D's, see a double D. Bitch, I'm fucking D's. I scratch it a couple of times. Niggas doing time. Then they ain't come with the fucking time, huh? Time for all that shit. Time for all that shit. Get this motherfucker, no! Yeah. 
Just travel the world with their lightsabers tied with their flames. I'm with the money and break. Shall let the scandals make it. She's a skeezer, she look at my leader, she look at my leader, so make it. What you guess? Cash gas. You want cash off? We got cash off. What a stash, what a stash for? Bitch, what I need a mask for? We call. Put it on my kill on my dick, can't wish this You can't just don't wanna wish this Lift this 
calm down, but... That would require requesting time off. Which is a whole other system. And another password I forgot. It makes me want to bang my head up against the wall. Oh, I probably shouldn't do that, because selecting health benefits was so confusing. I'm not 100% sure that's covered. It's, it's frustrating. frustrating. What's not frustrating? Paycom. With Paycom, your employees can rock all their HR tasks in one simple app. So let's get rolling. Visit Paycom at rockyourhr.com. You love listening to your favorite artists. And we love listening to you. So let's talk. Click now to take part in our short survey. And you could win a month of gloriously uninterrupted music with Spotify Premium. That means you can enjoy all your favorite artists ad-free. Sound good? Then all you need to do is hit the banner now for your chance to win. If you like pina colada. Spilled your pina colada? Bounty picks up spills quicker. And is two times more absorbent than a leading ordinary brand. If you like pina colada. Bounty, the quicker pickle. Take the cruel, can't stay 